Right, I'm just going to go through a few of my machines. I run five tattoo machines, two rotaries, three coils. I'll start from the top. So, we've got the Pro Stigma Prodigy, rotary, with clip coil connection, upgrade. Got the Bazaar V2, clip coil upgrade. Also, RCA, both of them. I've got a cheap machine that a friend gave me. That's just a cheap coil machine. <coughs> and cheap frame, I've rebuilt it. <coughs> I've got my liner, which has got the Mickey Sharps coils in. As you can see, we've got um, a little washer, cheap frame. I've had built it myself. It runs absolutely great. I've used it today. And I've got my packer. As you can see, I don't use no special springs or any bullshit shader, liner, liner, shader. They're all the fucking same to me. If it punches out an outline, it punches out a decent amount of shading. Don't listen to the old, oh, you can't use a shader as a liner and a liner as a shader. It's bullshit. This, as you can see, is supposed to be a shader. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be a liner. Yep, runs as a liner. Nice deep throw on it, look. But, I did two Papri on butterflies with this machine. Works great. This, overrang, shader. I do use it as a shader, but I have used it for lining as well. So, it's bullshit. This, liner again. I use it as a shader all the time. This, is a rotary, universal. It's got the second size core on it, so I run it as a shader. This, I run it as a liner because it only seems to work on one setting, even though it cost me a lot of fucking money. So I just thought I'd run you through my machines and kill the theory of you can't use a liner as a shader and you can't use a shader as a liner. Cause it's bullshit. I use a shader as a liner and a liner as a shader all the time. So, remember, if you buy one of these cheap Chinese machines, they do work. You can always put out a decent tattoo. It's not about the tattoo machine. As long as it runs well, it's about the artist.